Welcome to the virtual tour of the construction site Mules Brennero. On its route from Innsbruck to Fortezza, the Brenner base tunnel crosses roughly four different rock types quartz phyllite, schist, gneiss, and granite. Whether and where a tunnel can be built is largely determined by the geological and hydrogeological conditions. To determine the appropriate route for the Brenner Base Tunnel, over 35,000 meters of boreholes were drilled at various points over the project area, some of these down to tunnel level. The geological conditions in the interior of a mountain cannot be precisely predicted, even using the latest technology. Therefore, an uninterrupted exploratory tunnel is being excavated as part of the Brenner Base Tunnel project to obtain more detailed information on the nature of the rock along the route and thereby optimize the excavation from both a technical and an economical point of view. The choice of excavation method depends on the geology of the mountain, on geotechnical findings and forecasts, and on construction logistics and economic considerations. The length of the route to be excavated and the available construction time both influence the choice of tunneling method, so some sections of the tunnel are excavated by drilling and blasting, whilst others are built using continuous construction methods, such as with a tunnel boring machine, TBM. We will now enter the BBT construction site. Welcome to the construction site Mules Brennero. In the course of a seven-year construction period, 39.8 kilometers of the main tubes and 14.8 kilometers of the exploratory tunnel will be excavated, including the emergency stop in Trents and its access tunnel, as well as the bypasses which connect the main tubes every 333 meters. Let's start into the tunnel and see what's going on inside. Now we are in the Mules access tunnel and we are going to drive about 2 kilometers into the heart of the mountain, where the access tunnel ends at a depth of about 180 meters. If we look southwards, we can see the southern assembly cavern for the tunnel boring machine. Northwards, we see the western main tube, where trains will travel towards Innsbruck once the tunnel is put into operation. By 2023, a total of approximately 65 kilometers of tunnels will be excavated. Once this construction lot is finished, all excavation activities in the Italian project area will be complete. In the next scene, we will assist at the conventional excavation. Conventional excavation using shortcrete is a very flexible method of excavation. This is suitable for difficult, varying ground conditions and is very good for different sizes and for complex cross-sectional geometries. The stages for drilling and blasting are predetermined. The blast holes are drilled first, then loaded with explosives, and finally, the explosion takes place. Once the breakout material has been removed, a process known as mucking, tunnel support is applied in the form of shortcrete, anchors, lattice arches, and reinforcement mats. After one blasting cycle is complete, the process starts all over again. During the construction of the Brenner Base Tunnel, blasting will take place every three to six hours, depending on the geological composition of the rock. Now we will assist at a blasting. For safety reasons, we will move away. Now we will see the TBM. Tunnel boring machines, such as those being used in the construction of the Brenner Base Tunnel, are, depending on the prevailing requirements, approximately 180 to 400 meters long and consist of a drilling head and a trailing structure. 
The advantage of mechanical tunneling is its high daily advance rate. Working with the TBM also offers the workers a relatively high standard of occupational safety. The most important part of the TBM, which is really an underground logistics factory, is the drill head. This has a diameter of about 10 meters and consists of several drilling bits that press against the rocks and break them into small pieces. The trailing structure behind the drilling head is used to supply the excavation and remove the excavated material. The machine also consists of rock stabilization, ventilation and dust collection equipment. Approximately 80% of the Brenner base tunnel is being built using mechanical excavation. In the process, open TBMs, which install tunnel support using shortcrete, anchors and steel mesh, and shield TBMs, which install tunnel support using precast concrete tubing rings, are used. Finally, we will travel through the completed tunnel. You are now traveling through the Brenner Base Tunnel. As you can see, the train accelerates to 250 kilometers an hour. In a few years, it will be possible to travel from Fortezza to Innsbruck in about 15 minutes. Thank you for enjoying the virtual tour of the Brenner Base Tunnel. You can find more information at our BBT Info Point and on our website www.bbtinfo.eu.